Bernstein here with Board Game Geek TV at Spiel 2014. I'm sitting here with Moritz Brunhofer from hi. Handsome Glück and he's here to talk about the new game Die Stauffer. Die Stauffer, yes. Uh, hi there. Uh, well, Die Stauffer is a very, very German name. Actually, it's a, it's a house of nobles in Germany. It was like the Medici in, in Germany and they were at a very, very big empire uh, from from the North Sea to down to Sicily um, so well way uh, all the way around Europe so and one of the, the well the biggest phase they had this uh, the King Heinrich the sick and the son of King Barbarossa and he had to rule his big empire so he had to travel or ride through his empire to all these provinces and that's what lead us to the theme of the game so we have a lot of provinces here actually six in there so there's Aachen, Nimwegen, Palermo and so on, Augsburg, whatever these are uh, very very famous provinces he traveled through and he had to rule there so that is one basic mechanic of the game the, the king is here and he will move all the time during the game very important we are traveling through the provinces. Exactly. So that's the, that's what shows he's traveling through provinces. And um, we are nobles. We're with him. We're traveling with him, and we try to gather influence in all these provinces. So uh, we try to to be well, the best, uh, the, no, the best noble, whatever. So uh, actually, it's again about points, uh, victory points. So um, aren't all games? <laughs> technically, it's a, yeah, like in most of them, yeah. <laughs> so um, we we have a majority game. Um, uh, so we try to get the majority in all these, well, or at least in the most important provinces. Uh, for that we use our meeples. Um, these meeples are also our currency. These oh. are, for example, the, the small ones are the, the uh, Gesandte. They're the, the what, uh, I'm missing the English word, sorry, whatever. So and the, the big ones are the nobles. So we have uh, um, small ones and big ones. So big ones are worth two. So you can imagine what's in a majority game worth two means. Um, so if we want to get on foods or province, then we have to first travel to the province. Um, we're always uh, with the with the king, so that's where we're traveling with the king. If we want to go to somewhere else, we have to pay it. Paying means we have to get uh, two um, of our guys, well, passed. Let's say it like that. So, but for example, I want to travel here. I have to pay one and two to get in this province. And then I have these uh, spaces here, I can put a, put a meeple inside, whether a big one or a small one, doesn't matter. Well, it matters in the end, but... So uh, I'll pay him and then I'll pay the rest in the other provinces. So that's the way of payment, that's the main, main um, activity we're doing here. The other one is gathering supply, but of course it's very fast and not that exciting. The most exciting part is to get influence into the provinces. I'll do it in that way. So why are doing that, why I'm doing that? Um, it's because well, let's make an example here. Say for example, it's like that. So we uh, in the end of the turn there will be a scoring, and it's, there's one fixed scoring um, for province, and then there's another one um, flexible one, like or um, not random one, but you can it will it can change in, during the turn, like something where the most people are. In the, in the influence area, or where the where the king is, or whatever, like these these things. So they can turn during the uh, they can change during the turn. But what well, you see, it, you can plan it. Um, so let's say, for example, there is a scoring in this uh, region at the end of the game and end of the turn. Uh, we will score um, about the majority. The majority is here. The big guys are worth two. Small guys are worth one. So we have um, a worth of two for everybody, the one with the better place wins. We have points here for every region, different points. You score points, first, second, third place, of course, and some bonus. So, first you can go on these scorings, get some bonus, and try to, to make your influence there better and uh, to get, well, get prepared for the rest of the game. And also, you always get some of these, um, well, two and this, uh, chests. Um, yeah. And these chests are all bonus. They, they all have a bonus um, on, on their side. Like they're very simple ones. Like you get points. They're more um, uh, well gameplay ones. Like they, they give you an advantage for well, do not have to pay costs, for example. Well, they can also get, just give you points or meeples. Well, all, all these uh, retro things. And then you have these uh, purple ones. They will give you. Um, benefits for the game or uh, like, uh, privilege 
they give, they give you a privilege, so they're laying down some privilege. We have a, a lot of these. Um, they're sorted out six in front of the game, and you get these privilege. They help you during the game, so you get a permanent bonus for uh, being better than the others. Mm -hmm. Uh, the last thing about it is like uh, we will have cards for um, uh, final scoring. Uh, so these are secret mission cards and like that. So some very easy, like okay, you have the majority in some region. Others are a bit more difficult. Like uh, for example, this one you, you have to. Um, so in the end, you have to have a um, you have to have a meeple. For example, like this. Well, no, this wouldn't work. For example, like this. So it says you have to be. You have to be in three regions, um, separate by one. So there is one here, there is one here, and there is one here. So you you made it. Very good. And then you'll get the points there. And you get 12 points, exactly. So, and you, the very important part here is you can make them more than once. Okay. So that, this is the, um, the, the real gameplay then. So you can, you can, it depends on how good you, uh, you are in the game. And you can really score more than... Uh, and you'll score these immediately. No, you don't. It's a final scoring. Oh, okay. So you get but you prepared. you can still manage several of them. Oh yeah, yeah, you can. Well, this is mainly the game. It's a majority game, um, taking over the provinces, and then in the end you have to plan for your final uh, big scoring. Yeah. How many players does it play? Uh, two to five. Two so, to five. Yeah. That's nice Rough, roughly roughly about fifteen to twenty minutes per player. Per player, yeah. So like, uh, of course, if you have some thinking a lot, then uh, it's twenty. You never about, know. Uh, you can always drag yeah. out a bit. Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. That is uh, the Stauffer. Right.